I got a last minute ticket to Oogie Boogie Bash. So I'm here today on October, was it 21st? To check out Zombie Captain America over at Avengers Campus. So that's where I'm headed. Mondo's also here as well too. Sorry for the dark lighting here, but I'm on a hurry to get in. <laughs> All right, so I am walking in with three hours left in the party. Um, the parade has actually started uh, and it's headed from the Pixar Pier area. So I'm gonna try to make my way as fast as I can to Avengers Campus to hopefully avoid all that. Um, but yeah, so I happened upon a ticket on someone that couldn't make it today. Uh, sad that whoever it was, they couldn't make it, but thank you uh, for the ticket. And I'm headed in to check out Zombie Captain America. And some other things I didn't get to catch when I came on the first day of Oogie Boogie Bash, uh, when we all came as a big group. There was a lot to cover that day, so I'm glad I get to see it again. All right, so I barely made it into Avengers Campus, and you can already hear the music is spooky. They're playing zombie sounds. Oh, and I see him. So we're headed that way right now. zombie sounds, really ominous music. It's really cool setting the tone maybe for some scarier stuff next year, whether it's Oogie Boogie Bash or Mickey's Halloween Party. You can kind of hear the music. Of course, being in Avengers Campus, I had to hit up Agatha at her. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't. That wasn't here when we were here last time. There's actually a little tombstone over there for Sparky. She's like, I have a flair for the drama. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I just got so tired of everyone asking me where Sparky, where Sparky. I figured I'd bring a flood on. <laughs> and there you go, there you go. So over here at the Silly Symphony Swings is the Magic Key photo opportunity for Hocus Pocus. And I didn't get to do that the last time I was here because we were just so busy. So I'm going to do it this time around and check it out. All right, and this is actually presented by Disney Plus, Hocus Pocus, for the Halloween season. Uh, they've got the book, some green lights as you saw, and then the Hocus Pocus backdrop. Uh, and they do have a photo pass photographer here as well. And since you are a Magic Key holder, it is included, uh, your free download of the photo. All right, and here's a close-up look at the book. It has the eye and everything, just like the movie. So they actually have a little treat trail as part of this little photo opportunity. So it's like a magic key only treat trail. I did not know that that was part of this fun little tip for you guys. Had to hit up Sid since we are over here at Pixar Pier. Sid is such an awesome new addition to the villains here at Oogie Boogie Bash. Such a great actor that plays Sid here. <laughs> so they actually added a new photo op. Uh, since when we were here on opening day, this whole photo op was not here. Uh, they've got Goofy and Donald over here, both in their pirate costumes. So I'm going to do Mad Hatter round two because 
When I came here last time, Mad Hatter walked out the moment the moment we walked up. He's like, last goodbye. Time. He's like, goodbye. I have two time. All right, so let's see if we get him this time. So we finally what? got Mad Hatter this time. Yes, you brought a hat. My goodness, what is attached to it? It's the best kind of hat. I made it myself. It's a castle. I know. Dude, it seems like such a... Ooh. My goodness, how impressive. We do that again. That's very ingenious. I've never seen a hat like that. You're a wizard. Don't you need a wizard hat then? If you have a wizard hat, why don't you have one? I'm a better wizard. Oh, so good wizards don't even have hats. Lesson learned. Really, I think they added some movie props uh, from the movie. They got her uh, costumes in some like hermetically sealed boxes over here from the movie. Very true. That's a good problem. I know. I can't know what it's like to be ordinary. Oh my, oh, <laughs> that was it. Just a quick little trip into Oogie Boogie Bash. Uh, thanks again to whoever it was that uh, they know who they are who helped me get this ticket. Uh, I appreciate that. And then uh, just a quick little trip. Like I said, just came to see Captain America zombie version that they just released. Um, I know it's probably a test uh, for what's coming potentially next year. They did have some surveys talking about if guests would be interested in scarier content at events like these and they probably received an overwhelming yes so um i think it'll be very successful they even had kids meeting him too so it, it's frightening for sure but uh definitely everyone can enjoy it so uh but it was such an awesome experience but we're headed on out now so i'll talk to you guys in a bit all right, everyone, that does it for our quick little trip here to Oogie Boogie Bash. This was a last minute trip for me. I was not expecting to come at the end of October. I had only bought a ticket for the very first day, uh, and I was actually gifted a ticket to come today for someone that couldn't make it. So I do appreciate them. They know who they are. Uh, but it was such a blast to see Zombie Captain America. That's the whole reason I wanted to come, uh, because I was so sad that I didn't get to see it when we went, and then they added him afterward. Now, I know that Zombie Captain America is probably a test for what's gonna be maybe coming in the future. Or it could have just been, a, you know, an addition they had based on what if, you know. Disney Plus has been paying for a lot of stuff in the parks right now, so this just could have been that. But either way, it was definitely a test for them to see what people would react to with scarier content. And I'm so happy that they did it because it really worked well in Avengers Campus. And honestly, we were just talking about how cool it would be to see all the Avengers come out in their zombie form and just kind of roam across Avengers Campus. So. It, maybe it's a test of what happens next year. Maybe they don't even have Oogie Boogie Bash next year, or maybe they have both next year. So that's what we can hope for, but I really, really was excited to come this time at the end of October, and I'm glad, hopefully, to be able to do it next year, too, twice. So maybe this is motivating me to buy more than one ticket next year. But thanks again, guys, for watching. If you haven't, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll see you real soon.